A recent ban by President Trump has stopped refugees from predominantly Muslim countries from coming to the United States. That ban was halted by a U.S. federal judge over the weekend, but the order has still affected many people here in mid-Michigan. Fox 47's Elizabeth Crenshaw visited East Lansing's Islamic Center to see how members there are reacting. Oh. President Trump has been in office for a week now and is already working on keeping ISIS out of the country. His recent ban of refugees from a certain list of Muslim majority countries are affecting people right here in the city of East Lansing. It's kind of surprised me suddenly like banning people, especially if you look at the Iraq and Syria. They are the two major countries, a lot of refugees coming from Syria and um, Iraq. Mr. Trump's orders are basically uh, xenophobic in nature, and he's just uh, trying to build on the xenophobia and Islamophobia. Zirian Hassan traveled all the way from his native country of Iraq to East Lansing, Michigan. He tells me it's a place he calls home. I, I've been here uh, with my community, Islamic Center, uh, almost for three years. And um, we start with the new life here as a refugee. But is saddened by President Trump's executive order because he's afraid he can't visit his family back home and won't be allowed to re-enter the country. Right now we are legal people. Even the people with ha like carrying the citizenship because they are from those countries, they are in the least, they are really scary about to travel and try to come back. Even though a U.S. federal judge issued a stay on the ban, the fear still remains. We are fe fearful and we are anxious. Uh, we are filled with uncertainty. Uh, we really don't know uh, where this is going to lead us into down the line. And the Muslim community is hoping they can continue to move forward. We really don't know where this will end. Earth is created for human beings. Learns to enjoy our life. In East Lansing, Elizabeth Crenshaw, Fox 47 News. The Muslim Students Association at MSU plans to hold a rally Tuesday protesting President Trump executive's order.